next i will cover defense exercises friends one to uh, two questions are being asked in the uh, from the defense exercises so in one to two one to one and a half hour we can cover this defense exercises so this is highly scorable area so i'm going to dis also discuss defense exercises <music> Good morning, students. Welcome back to Plutus IAS. So, as we all know, there are almost uh, three months left for the prelims examination. So, we have um, calculated it. There are almost ninety-five days left for the prelims examination. So, we have come up with a plan of ninety-five days uh, prelims challenge to give you uh, very important and specific information with respect to prelims examination. So, in this ninety-five days. we try to give you uh, most suitable and precise information so that you can better uh, perform in the prelims examination by utilizing the information whatever provided through this 95 days prelims challenge so basically i have taken um, seven subjects and identified the most probable topics i mean the uh, the topics which are uh, relatively uh, very important for the prelims examination and uh, which will be Uh, a better cost to benefit analysis uh, for the time you will spend on these topics uh, i will make sure that you will get uh, sufficient knowledge through this topics so that you can better uh, perform in the prelims examination so now in this video i will uh, show you the schedule and the topics i will give brief introduction of the topics that i'm going to uh, cover in the course of next 95 days uh, so that you will have a better idea about this topics so after this uh, every day i will take one topics and discuss uh, the important aspects or uh, the important uh, information important topics in that uh, subject uh, uh, which is very uh, so which will be suitable uh, suitable for the prelims examination so basically first i have taken the uh, polity subject so in that subject i have uh, tried to, uh, i will try to cover the constitutional developing uh, developments in pre independent india and the preamble of the constitution parts of the constitution fundamental rights direct to principles of state policy fundamental duties uh, the president as we all know the president the uh, president is a very important topic for our upsc pre preparation especially for uh, from the prelims point of view so i will uh, try to cover these topics and along with them the government and council of ministers uh, parliament and the position of speaker judiciary supreme court the governor state government and legislature constitutional bodies basic structure and judicial activism local civil governments and uh, the importance of 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment acts and lastly i will cover the important amendments that have come uh, throughout the course of the uh, 75 uh, years since constitution, constitution has been adopted so basically Uh, from the polity subject, I am going to cover sixteen topics, and I will cover them in sixteen days. Right. The next subject I have taken is environment. As we all know, the importance of environment and ecology for the prelims has been increased a lot in uh, recent years. There are more than ten questions, ten to fifteen questions are being asked from the ecology and environment subject. So. uh the advantage of this subject is you will invest very less time and uh, you have the uh option of scoring more and more marks through this subject so because of the, uh, this reason i have uh, chosen this topic as second topic uh, this subject as second topic and the topics i will cover in this subject are basic concepts here i will discuss the term terminology like biosphere biomes ecological niche so these kind of basic terminology i will try to cover so because this terminology is be increasingly being asked in the prelims examination right of apart from that i will cover national parks wildlife sanctuaries and wildlife uh, world heritage sites so these things also national parks wildlife sanctuaries and world heritage sites they are increasingly asked in the prelims examination next i will cover endangered species this is also very important topic for our prelims examination next i will cover wetlands environment related acts uh environment related organization like central pollution control board next i will cover the 
conventions like uh, Kyoto Protocol, uh, Paris Pact, etc., etc. I will cover the uh, conventions related to environment. Next, I will cover pollution and the biodiversity and related aspects. So basically, I have taken the most important topics uh, that will be very informative for the prelims examination. So in total, I'm going to cover 11 topics uh, from the uh, environment and ecology subject and this will be completed by day 27. Next, I have taken science and technology. As you all know, uh, the number of questions that are asked from the science and technology topic the, um, subject is also increasing and the weight is, weightage is also increasing in the prelims examination. So basically, I am going to cover nine topics from the science and technology uh, subject. Those are nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, as you all know, this is the topic of discussion since three, four years. So there is a high chance of uh, the questions coming from this topic. Next, I will discuss biotechnology, satellite system, missile systems, launch vehicles. La launch vehicles means like PSLV and the GSL, right? Next, I will cover defense exercises. Friends, one to uh, two questions are being asked in the uh, from the defense exercises. So, in one to two, one to one and a half hour, we can cover this defense exercises. So, this is highly scorable area. So, I'm going to dis also discuss defense exercises. Next, I will cover un unconventional energy resources. Next, I will discuss electric vehicle. Hence, this is also very important area. A lot of uh, developments are happening in uh, elect uh, electric ve uh, vehicles aspect. So I will also discuss this topic. So in total, I'm going to cover nine topics from the science and technology subject. So I will complete the science and technology, uh, uh, these uh, topics by day 36. So next subject I have taken is geography. So though the number of questions that are being asked uh, from the geography has been declined over the years, still it has some importance. It has uh, significant uh, importance in the prelims examination. So uh, from geography, I will cover ge geographical features of India, types of soils, rivers and tributaries, types of forests, mountains and peaks. So this is also very important area question came from this area. Uh, after that, I will cover minerals and resources, industries and industrial zones, major crops. So, in geography, from geography, I will cover these areas. So, in total, I am going to cover 8 topics from the geography. I am going to complete the geography uh, subject by day 44. So, next I have taken economics, though this is a dynamic subject. So, and it is, uh, I mean, it is mostly dependent on current affairs. It's mostly related with current affairs. We still have uh, identified some important topics which might fetch, which may fetch, help in fetch, uh, giving good marks in the examination. So basically, the topics I'm going to cover in the economics are uh, basic data and facts, basic concepts, sectors of economy, agriculture, allied sector, horticulture. So these are the uh, major aspects I'm going to cover along with that. The aspect of food security, public uh, public sector undertakings, PPP and FDI, IPR, intellectual property rights, MSME, major industries. So I'm going to cover these aspects also because previously uh, questions have been asked from these areas also. So in total, I'm going to cover 12 topics from the economic subject. So I'm going to cover uh, complete the economic subject by day 56. The next subject I have chosen is history. So basically questions are uh, being asked from ancient history and modern history. So basically I try, I try to, uh, I will try to cover 12 topics from history. So some of the topics are sites of Indus Valley civilization and sites of Paleolithic and Neolithic, uh, Neolithic era. So every year we are seeing one to two questions that are being asked from the site. So uh, this is a highly scorable area, so I will try to cover uh, the sites and uh, the significance associated with these sites in the first two topics. Next, I will cover Mahajanapadas and Vedic civilization. Next, I will uh, I will cover 
some dynasties that is Maurya, Maurya dynasty, Gupta dynasty and uh, I will cover Delhi Sultanate and uh, I will cover Mughals. So in between I will also cover Central Asian incursions. Right. Next I will cover important governors and uh, viceroys. I will cover important national leaders and also I will cover uh, movements, tribal movements, civilian movements and peace and movements. So basically the movements are very important for our examination. So I will try to cover uh, about the movements in some detail. Right, in total I am going to cover 12 topics from the history subject. I am going to complete the history by day 68. Uh, next, next, I will cover the subject of art and culture. As you all know, yes. the questions are uh, increasingly being asked from art and culture, especially uh, folk culture, folk dance, folk music. So, I will cover those aspects also. The topics I have chosen are temple architecture. So, we have basically three uh, types of uh, temple architecture Nagara, Dravida, and Vesara. I will cover that. And I will cover sculpture, dance, classical, and folk dance music classical and folk music i will also cover literature paintings and uh, edicts and numismatics so basically i'm going to cover seven topics from art and culture art right so i will cover these seven subjects by day 75 in the remaining 20 21 days i will take two to three states each day as you all know, the states and their uh, significance or importance or day-to-day -day happenings that are taking place in the states. That is also very important for the examination. So in 2021, remaining 2021 days, I will take two to three states each day. And I'm going to discuss the aspects like 